the inhabitants of Le Cara Fridi liked to drink tea, thanks to the 19th century British owners of the local sulphur mine. But this is not what the town is famous for. Frank Sinatra's grandparents lived here. And there is a museum dedicated to the singer. Mario explains. This is the museum dedicated to Frank Sinatra. Uno, eh, forse il museo, l'unico museo italiano o europeo. If you are a Sinatra fan, the townsfolk put on a music festival every August to celebrate him. Apparently, in friolate or stuffed bread rolls were Granddad Francesco's favorite snack. Expert bread maker Francesca shares her recipe. Buonasera! Mi chiamo Sperlazza Francesca. E mi ha dato a fare il pane. Ora sto preparando per fare le infriolate. Ecco, questo è un poco di lievito. E questa è la farina. First she makes the dough. She uses 500 grams of durum wheat flour or semola rimacinata. Il lievito si deve sciogliere. Con l'acqua calda si scioglie da solo. She mixes half a cube of brewer's yeast with water and adds a spoon or 10 grams of sugar along with a pinch of salt. She adds enough water to make an easy to handle dough. Francesca adds a slug of olive oil and gives it a final knead. It's a chilly evening, so the dough goes under a blanket to rise for a couple of hours. A calore. This is wild chard, and it's called gide locally. Traditionally, mfruolate are only made when it's growing during the winter and early spring seasons. Friend Giuseppina cubes a kilo of potatoes and an onion. Francesca rinses and pats dry the chopped chard. This is a young sheep's milk cheese called Primo Sale, made by her neighbor. Francesca cuts it up into the potato mixture. Sad salad. Giuseppina removes the flesh from some salted sardines and then shakes in black pepper and grated aged pecorino. The ladies remove the skins from some fennel flavored sausages. <laughs> They crumble some of the sausage meat into the potatoes. Giuseppina dumps in the chard and Francesca adds a generous slug of olive oil. Hands are the best tools to mix everything together thoroughly. And scrunching the leaves makes them tender. Francesca adds the rest of the sausage in chunks. This is dough Francesca made earlier and it's risen nicely. The friends roll dough the size of tennis balls. They then pat them flat and spoon some mixture into the center. Giuseppina pulls the dough over the mixture and makes a seam. She pulls off any excess dough and turns it over so the seam doesn't show.
They work their way through the dough and mixture. Abbiamo visto che salvavamo senza la tina, ma niente. Dobbiamo fare anche la tavola. Poi non so parlare, no? Lo faccio meglio. Io invece faccio così per così, mi vedo tutta la tina, non ce ne vedo qua. Francesca had to leave school aged 10 and looked after her newborn brother from when she was 14 years old. But she kept her love of poems, and here is one she still remembers. Mamma, cammontuare sta parola, sento le labbra una risca di mele. Mamma, che dire mamma se consola, lo stesso dire le supernicele. Mamma, si fonde con red a cannola, si una palumma senza tacche fele. Mamma, che la si brazza manna caste. Mamma, che le stupetto mi chiupiste. Di latte e di panuzzo mi ci baste, da mura e di canzone mi arricchiste. Sempre dolendo le dita rose in massi, sempre dolendo le vecchie antitiste. Mamma, di quando fu che mi assaste, perso il paradiso le mie viste. Bravo! Bravo! Bravo. The infriolate have to bake for about 35 minutes until they're golden and crisp. They're a supper time treat and make a good change to pizza. Queste sono le infriolate che ha fatto i nonni di Franco Senatra. Erano gente di campagna, mangiavano genuine, diciamo così, e le facevano di campagna. Queste persone antiche hanno lasciato a noi il suo ricordo di fare le infriolate e sono ripiene. E ora le abbiamo fatte, sono queste. Guardate, sono più ripiene di denso. Buon appetito! Buone, buone, complimenti! Buonissimo! Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.